All right, we're looking at the trusty Timex Iron Man and Diesel DC. Today we have a Jimster 586 unboxing. Look how tall this item is. It stands, I'd say, at least three and a half to four feet tall. The reason this is a Jimster 586 unboxing is because this package came from the Jimster. It, it was a gift, so it was of no charge. Um, Jim is a great guy. I am, however, reimbursing him for packaging and handling. So, we're going to go ahead and use the knife and unbox this. This item is so big that um, you can't get the whole thing in the frame. So here I go. I'm going to cut the tape and see how well the UPS store up in Rochester did boxing this. Because he, I, he took it to the UPS store because this item would be a pain in the rear end to package yourself. So it is kind of fragile. But we're about to see what this item is. I will say this, you should be very enlightened after seeing this. Enlightened with 30 watts of pure preheat energy. I hope the camera's getting this. There, I'm going to put the camera up here a little bit. You should be able to see me. Hey there. Okay, oh boy, we are going to have a messy unboxing. Look at this, we got peanuts. So we are going to remove the item from the box. It's heavy, so there's going to be some cleanup after this. There is going to be uh, some major cleanup after this. Oh boy, look at this. Can you say snow? Okay, we have now extracted the item from the box. With that being said, we will move the box. And look at the floor in my room. Wow. Over there against the wall is the item, so I'm going to finish. Let me make sure you can see it. Unboxing it. And here we go, time to cut. UPS store always does a good job packaging. And I highly recommend using UPS when you're shipping a large item. One, because they're Union Brothers. And two, because when it comes to shipping a large item like this, the Postal Service will probably charge a lot of money for it. So the Postal Service shines with small packages. All right, we're getting closer. Oh, wow. Here it is. That's right. You are looking at a fluorescent strip light that is preheat. And there's the bulb. This light is actually a 30-watt one. I'm going to set it down here. The lamp holders appear to be riveted, so I want to be very careful not to damage them. Okay, I'm going to set it down here for now. All right, this is where the hard part comes in. Okay, the camera's seeing it. And sorry for the unprofessionalism of this unboxing, but this is a big item. I will continue these box cutters to cut up the bubble wrap because I don't want to damage the lamp holders. And there we go. Oh, wow. Actually, they're not riveted. They're screwed. This is a 30-watt preheat fluorescent strip light. And there's a hole for a switch right there, so this light will have a switch. All right, and this, let me see if I can get the starter out. Yeah, this, uh, Dave Lay is right. These lamp holders, look at this. Original starter. Y'all have seen this on Jimster 586's channel. By the way, if you're not subscribed to Jim, Jimster 586, I highly recommend his channel. He's got some good stuff, and we're talking not just elevators. He is a true variety channel. Jimster586 truly runs a good variety channel. Now we're opening the light bulb of this truly unique light. And like I said, the UPS store did a good job on this one. This is dangerous here. you got to be careful not to cut your fingers. And, oh wow. This thing could have been dropped off the Empire State Building. It's building it so well. And I got enough bubble wrap to last a long time. This is a F30 T8 light bulb. Or lamp as the technical termination for a light the technical term for a light bulb. It's actually called a lamp. So when your light bulb burns out your lamp, you're actually relamping it. I hope you all are enjoying this unboxing. Well anyway, here it is. The light bulb is. Here's a close-up. 
For all you fans on lighting gallery and gallery lights, I hope you enjoy this. It's cool white F30 T8. Now we're going to install the light bulb. Ooh, it's nice and tight. Okay, here's the moment y'all have been waiting for. This light does not have a switch yet, although I'm probably going to put one on it. So let me see if I can get out of the way. And I'm going to, I guess I'll lay down so my head's not in the picture. But here we go. First start of the F30 T8. Awesome. Let's do that a couple more times. Ooh, I like that. All right, one last time. These uh, higher wattage fluorescent lamps are not exactly very blink happy, but this is my first fixture that uses an FS4 starter. So Jim, a big thank you. Appreciate it. We'll turn it on and off one more time. Awesome. And just for the fun of it, we can fire up the 13 watt. All right, now we got two fluorescent lights burning. That being said, that'll be it. Actually, I'll leave them on.